on September 14th. Um, we were able to have our first ultrasound. We saw baby. We're extremely excited. This was baby number four for Derek and Kenyatta Coleman, a girl named Denver, and they were excited. But then at their routine 30-week ultrasound, a nightmare began. Saw my doctor and, you know, we sat down and then she shared with me that um, just something wasn't right um, in terms of the baby's brain and also her heart was enlarged. The concern was this, that big colorful mass you're looking at in baby Denver's brain. It's known as a vein of Galen malformation. It shouldn't exist. Simply put, this vein was getting too much blood and too quickly. Ironically, despite all of this blood going to the brain, it's not supplying brain tissue, it's just going through the malformation like a short circuit right back to the heart. Dr. Darren Orbach, a radiologist at Boston Children's Hospital, typically treats these rare malformations right after a baby is born. But too often, that can be too late. 50 to 60% of all babies with this condition will get very sick immediately. Um, for those, it looks like there's about a 40% mortality. So Orbach and his team offered Kenyatta and Derek something new, a chance to treat Denver before she was born, in utero. Now keep in mind, in utero surgery also means they had to take two patients to the operating room instead of one. And they had to then very carefully thread a catheter right into the middle of that gigantic blood vessel inside a very tiny baby brain. What was the biggest risk? I would say the biggest risk is the uh, fear of injury to the brain. Uh, we are accessing the head uh, through the skull and through the dura and back into the big collecting vein. In order to accomplish this, Kenyatta was taken to the operating room and given an epidural. And then Denver was rotated into the right position and given anesthesia to keep her from moving. So after learning that she was in an ideal position, that was more confirmation for me. Like, there's no backing out of this. So babies in utero, you sort of, baby is flipped so that the back of the head is towards the abdominal wall. So this would be toward you as the surgeon here. Needle is gonna go then through the abdominal wall of mom and then through the occipital bone right here. And at that point, we introduced the microcatheter through the needle and, and went up through the sinus to get to the big vein. And through that needle, these tiny little coils were used to fill up the vein and change that big colorful mass into something that looks like this. The actual procedure itself took just around 20 minutes. Just two days later, Denver was born, happy, healthy, both baby and family. So this is Miss Denver Coleman, and she is about to change the world. Dr. Sanjay Gupta, CNN, reporting.